one of the most common used library in python with respect to machine learning and ai is pandas pandas is a powerful open source library in python for data manipulation and analysis providing data structures and functions to efficiently handle and process large data sets in ai pandas plays a crucial role by enabling data scientists to focus on building and training models rather than data preparation pandas streamlines data cleaning transformation feature engineering and analysis ensuring high quality data for ai models pandas integrates seamlessly with popular ai ml libraries like scikit learn tensorflow and pytorch making it an indispensable tool for tasks such as predictive maintenance customer segmentation sentiment analysis and more by leveraging pandas ai engineers can improve model accuracy increase efficiency and enhance collaboration but there is one slight issue with pandas which can become a bottleneck in your ai project and that is that if your data set is huge and if you're dealing with lot of data pandas could feel sluggish that is where this new compiler accelerated library fireducks comes into play it's an accelerated data frame library for python which is fully compatible with pandas you can just pick up your existing pandas code and then import fireducks either through explicit hook or through implicit hook and then fireduck would just put wheels under your pandas program in this video we are going to install this fireduck locally with pandas of course and then i will show you a small script with some dummy data as how you can use this fireduck locally with any of your data manipulation or data engineering tasks especially it will be very useful if you deal a lot with data set preparation before i show you the installation let me give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount for range of gpu so do check them out this is my ubuntu system where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and this is my gpu card courtesy mast compute let me clear the screen another thing which you need to remember is that this Firedux is only available for Linux at the moment. It's very new, and the work is in progress to get it portable to Windows and Mac. Okay, so to get started, let me create a virtual environment with Conda. So the environment is created. Let me now install Pandas and this Firedux. The command is simple. All you need to do is to just pip install both of these. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. These are quite lightweight, both of them. So both of them are installed and they have also installed some of the auxiliary stuff which they need. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's launch our Jupyter Notebook after installation so that we could play around with the code in browser environment. So let's wait for it to get launched. So our Jupyter Notebook is launched. First up, let's, uh, let me show you a very f uh, familiar vanilla pandas code. So let me try to explain what is happening in this code. So first up, I'm just importing this pandas library and then I'm just picking a, uh, some sample data set. This could be your own data set, of course. And then we are converting this data set into pandas frame. And then we are displaying it simply. And then we are analyzing the data. Now for analysis, I am just calculating the mean of the column in this case for age. We can also do the finding a row with maximum value in a column such as score in this case. And then we are grouping by a column and calculating the mean with this group by clause. And then we are filtering row based on a condition which could be age greater than 30 here. And then we are printing it out. So let me run it and then we will integrate Firedux afterwards. So it's very quick as you can see, I have run it here and there you go. This is the original data frame and this is the data analysis which is it has done as per our code. And then this is a mean score by country 
and this is the people older than 30 as you can see it has just picked up from that data set you can immediately sense how easy and quick it makes uh, for data engineers especially in data scientists or if you're an ai engineer dealing with data set to alter your data set and then go through it now as i said earlier it was quick because our data set is quite small now just imagine hundreds of thousands of rows because if you're dealing with a data set for llms it will be humongous data now when that comes into play this could really feel sluggish and that is where our firedux which is an accelerated library or in other words which just puts wings onto this pandas comes into play now how you can use firedux here now as we are using notebook here so if and data engineers and AI engineers, especially who deals with data, deal with notebook a lot. So it is very important to know how you can integrate Firedux with an existing pandas code. All you need to do is to use this magic command here, where we are loading this extension of Firedux.pandas. We already have installed Firedux, and then you can simply remove this import pandas here because we are already doing it. And then it is going to automatically convert all of this below script into Firedux script. So let me run it. So as soon as I have run it, it was lightning fast and it has given us the same response, but in a much, much speedier way. Of course, you won't notice it that much in such a uh, low data frame. But if you have, as I said, millions of rows, then the um, difference is very, very palpable. Okay. Now, this is the Jupyter Notebook. Let me quickly show you in the just as a code command, how can you, you do the implicit or explicit hookup. Now, for explicit hookup, what it means is explicit, explicit or implicit means that if you want to convert it to Pandas uh, program to your file duck. Remove this and then also remove this line and instead of importing it from pandas, you can just go with this pd, firedux.pandas, and then it will just convert all of your pandas code seamlessly into your firedux code. So if I quickly run it from here, there you go. So it has just simply converted it and you won't feel a difference. And the beauty is I didn't even have to change a single comma in my existing pandas code. So if you already have your data pipelines where you're using pandas quite heavily, all you need to do is to either use this explicit one or you could use that magic uh, command with the notebook. And now let me show you how you can use this Firedux with your full program. So for just in case you don't want to use it in the notebook. So let me just close this notebook here. I'll just close and shut down it and it will disappear. Let me close this. Let me go here. I'll just press control C. Let me clear the screen. I'm in still in the same environment where I have installed these. So let me go to one of my directory and I'll just show you a code where I have written my panda.py. It's the same file which we ran in our notebook. So you see it is doing the same thing import pandas as pd no file here so let's suppose this is an existing script you have based on pandas library in your data um, pipeline and you want to convert it into file now let me first run this as is so i'm just going to say python 3 my panda.py so it's a, it has written us return as the same response now i want to run it with the Firedux and I don't want to change a single word there. So what do I do? The beauty is that you run it like this Python 3 dash M and then I'm just calling firedux.pandas and I'm simply passing it my own script. You can just replace it any name. You see, I didn't even touch my script. I didn't change anything in the script. I'm just calling it from the command line or wherever you want to call it and I am just passing it this parameter and it has converted it into Firedux um, accelerated library sponsored code. So how good is that? If you have your heaps of script, all you need to do is to just put in your APIs this Firedux keyword with dash M 
and your API will be then FireDAX enabled, they will be accelerated. So that's it guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Please play around with it, let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.